Hi there everyone Pritam this side. This video is going to be very important for all of us guys because we will be talking about the ultimate guide of optimizing our PC or how we can make our PC or laptop run faster. Before we begin consider subscribing to our channel for such content if you haven't. Now let's get started. First of all we will create the system restore point as if you face any problem with any setting then you can always revert your system back to previous setting. Now press windows button and type create a restore point and here we can see this option now click here. Now select your C drive and click on configure and make sure that you have this option enable which is turn on system protection. Now click ok. Now you need to click on create and give your restore point a name. So I am writing it before optimization and click create. And this is how we create our restore point. Now click close and ok. Now we will go to settings again I will press windows and will type settings and in system setting we will go to notification and here you can turn it off but let's say you want to be notified with particular apps then you can turn it on and can select that particular app else you can turn off notification for other application. The another way to control notification is focus assist click here on focus assist and select prioritize only. And then here you can define your priority list. When I turn it on I will receive notification from only these applications and rest of others are being ignored. Now let's go back to system and this time we will go to power setting. If you didn't see all the setting available here then you can open control panel and here you will find this power option. Click on power option from here select high performance power plan. If you don't see this high performance power plan then click here on power plan and you can create high performance power plan manually. Now I can give it a name and click next. So in this way we can create our own high performance power plan. After creating it let's go back and click on system. Time now came to free our drive for that let's go to storage and make sure you have turned on this storage sense. Storage sense helps you to automatically clean up the content. If you want to run it manually then you can click here on run storage sense now. Here I can see the glimpse of type of data which occupy my space and the data which is of no use is this temporary file. So now let's go ahead and clean it up. Here I can see a huge chunk of windows update and the data in my recycle bin. Also some of system error memory dump file which is due to the fact that current version of windows is beta and in this way you can analyze and see the amount of junk file in your system. Simply click here on remove file and click continue. Here I can see my C drive only have 90 gigabyte of free space. After running this storage sense now I have extra 9 gigabyte of space. Now here I can see the storage sense is giving me opportunity to delete the downloads. But be careful about this particular setting because if you choose this option then all of the data from the download folder may also got deleted. Now let's go back to storage and here we will go to this option which says clean up recommendation. And it will show us different different type of recommendation for example in this download folder. But obviously the download folder may contain some of important files so therefore you should delete the file manually from this folder. Now we will click on large or unused files and here again I have an option to choose these file and delete them. The windows also give us option to delete file from cloud and unused apps. Now for example for me there are so many apps which I do not use therefore I can delete them by myself and can further release more space. Let's again go back to storage and this time we will click here on advanced storage setting and choose last option which says drive optimization. Now select all your drive and click on optimize. 
The solid state drive in my computer barely take few second but the conventional hard drive may take some time. After that close the window. You can also enable schedule optimization so that windows can do it for you. Now let's close this setting and let's go back to main system setting. The next option is nearby setting. If you do not use nearby sharing then make sure to turn it off. Now let's go back and click on multitasking. Now click here on remote desktop and if you do not use remote desktop quite often then please make sure to turn it off. Now let's go to Bluetooth and devices setting. And if you are not using your Bluetooth, then make sure to turn it off as well. Now let's go to personalization. Click on background. And from personalize your background, choose solid color. The solid colors are very light in weight. And make your Windows desktop pretty light. Now let's go back to personalization. Now let's go to color and turn off transparency effects. This will make your system more responsive, especially if your system have only 4 GB or 8 GB of RAM. Now let's go back to apps. Click on apps and feature. Now from here you can delete those apps which you do not use. For example, let's say I don't use this app so I can uninstall it and can make my system lighter. Now we will go to share across devices setting and turn it off. Now let's go to gaming. Let's say you do not play games or you do not have Xbox controller, then you can turn this setting off. Let's go back to gaming and click on this captures. You can also turn off these settings as well. Again, we will click on gaming and this time click on game mode and turn this off. If you are a gamer, then you do not need to because this game mode will optimize your PC for gaming. Now let's go back and close this. Again press windows key and this time search for environment variable. Now click on performance and select adjust for best performance. Accept some setting which I believe is necessary to have a decent look which is smooth edges for screen font and show thumbnail instead of icons. Now click ok. Again click back to performance setting and this time click on advanced tab. Here make sure that you have chosen adjust for the best performance. In case of virtual memory, make sure that you have selected SSD instead of conventional hard drive. And let's say you have only conventional hard drive, then you do not need to anything. Let's say you have lesser amount of RAM, let's say 4 GB or 8 GB, then you can uncheck this option. Now let's click OK. Now you may see this message to restart your PC, click OK. Now you need to select restart later for this optimization to take place. The next setting that we're going to optimize is controlling our startup application or the application that starts with windows. For that we need to press control shift and escape key together so that we can open our task manager or you can open task manager by simply pressing windows button and then writing task manager. Now go to startup tab. And from here you can choose the application that you do not want to start with windows and delay the boot time. For example, I am not using Bing wallpaper so I can either uninstall this app or disable it. Please keep in mind that startup also contain a lot of essential process for windows. So if you do not know about any process then better to leave it as it is. After selecting all application that you want to enable or disable, we are going to close it. Now we're going to configure our boot option. For that we will be going to system configuration. So simply press windows key and type system configuration. And here we can see the setting. Now we will click on boot. And here we will select no boot GUI. And reduce this time to 5 second. If you have RAM of 4 GB or 8 GB. Then you may make it 8 second. In my particular case I am making it 5 second. But let's say you have a RAM of 4 GB or 8 GB with conventional hard drive, then I will suggest you to make it 8 second. If you are using SSD, then make it 5 second. You can also select this no GUI boot for further optimization and click apply. Now we will click here on advanced option and choose maximum number of processor that your system have. I have 12 cores, so I'm going to choose 12. 
similarly you can choose maximum memory option and then click ok now again click apply now click ok this time also it is asking us to restart our system and let me just quickly restart my system to apply these settings after system restart the next setting that i'm going to talk about is very beneficial for those people who have system having 4 gigabyte of ram or 8 gigabyte of ram but for this setting you should have a pen drive now connect your pen drive to your system and open file explorer by pressing windows and e now here i can see my pen drive now i'm going to make a right click on it and we'll go to properties now here you can see the option which says ready boost click on this option and if you see an option to use your pen drive to speed up your system performance then you can choose that in my particular case i cannot use ready boost as ready boost is not enabled because the windows think my system is fast enough and the ready boost is unlikely to provide additional benefits therefore i cannot use this feature but in case of limited amount of resources you may found this feature enabled and then you can use your flash drive to improve your system performance now i will click ok now let's press windows and r and in run command type percentage temp percentage as we can see here and click ok now press ctrl and a and press delete to delete all the temporary files some file you may not able to delete for them you can click on do this for all current items and click skip after that close it and press windows and r again this time we will type temp and click ok again select all the file by pressing ctrl and a press shift and delete and click on yes now click on continue and again choose do it for all current item and click skip now the next setting we're going to talk about is how we can check the health of our drive as the unhealthy disk may result drop in performance for that let's open cmd so simply press windows button and type cmd and now run it as administrator now type following command you can also copy and paste the command from the description of this video and press enter now this command will start scanning our drive and if you have any issue with your drive then we can fix it up with the help of our next command now here i can see i do not have any issues with my drive but let's say if you have then you can type following command in your command prompt and hit enter this tool will help you to restore your hard drive health and if you reach this video up to this point then please consider subscribing to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye